Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of The FOMO Life. I'm your host as always, Captain Ron. Today, we're gonna do something special. We're gonna honor the one person that is responsible for all of us being here. That's right, dear old mom. Now this meal actually has extra special meaning for me with my mom. I grew up on Long Island, New York, and we would go scalloping and catch scallops all the time. We spend hours cleaning scallops, and then my mom would go and make them for my dad all the time. Every once in a while, he'd flip the script and he would make her her favorite meal in the world, scallops piccata. And that is what I'm gonna share with you today. I always remember the look on her face when she was enjoying her favorite meal, probably because she didn't have to prepare it, but that look is burned in my memory and it was a joy of sheer happiness. So I hope this recipe will bring you and possibly even your mom or special lady in your life that kind of happiness too. The scallops we're gonna use for this are giant sea scallops. These things are beauties, they're monsters. Um, they're different than bay scallops. They come from deep in the ocean and they are large. We want a nice large piece. We want a big piece of meat here for mom. Now, a lot of people get intimidated by cooking with scallops and they're really a simple item to work with. There's only a couple steps that you have to do that are really gonna make it a much better meal in the end, all right? If you have these giant sea scallops, you wanna check, a lot of them will have this extra little piece of muscle on the side. That's just kind of tough and uh, it's not gonna be good to eating. So you wanna make sure before you start cooking, you peel this little side muscle off. You can see it, it almost kind of hangs off on its own. All you do is just take your thumb and your forefinger and just pull it off just like that and you've got a scallop that's ready to go. So basically the first step in our process is gonna to be to dry the scallops. In order to get a great golden colored sear that we want on the exterior of those scallops, they need to be nice and dry. So what we do is we take a couple paper towels. And I have this little wire rack in this pan right here. So we're gonna lay the paper towels on here and just set the scallops on the paper towel. What that's gonna do is it's gonna dry the exterior of the scallops so that we're gonna give a great sear. The enemy to a good sear is moisture. So anything we can do that's gonna eliminate any moisture from this equation is gonna help. The other thing we're gonna do now, I have this Jacobson's garlic salt here. And what I'm gonna do is just give a little sprinkle on top of each one. The salt's gonna help draw out this moisture. And there we have it. We are garlic, we are salted. Last step, take another, I use two paper towels. I kind of fold them like this, set this two, and just set this on top. Make sure each one is covered. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this aside about a half hour or so while we light our grill and get things going and start our scallops piccata recipe. Today, we're gonna use our all natural briquettes in our Big Green Egg Mini Max. Oh, briquettes in a Mini Max, that's right. They're made from 100% coconut shells and they are all natural. They're gonna produce much, much less ash than a traditional briquette. So they are perfectly great to use in a Mini Max. The other part that's great about them is their size. Because of the limited charcoal capacity of the Mini Max, these fit in there and you can hold a great amount of charcoal in there. You know what? Before we open this up and get the grill lit, I wanna do a giveaway. I wanna share some of these with you. All right, so we're gonna have a giveaway for one bag of briquettes. The only thing that you need to do, subscribe to our channel. Make sure you're subscribed. The other thing, leave us a comment below. That's it, okay? We'll pick a winner and we're gonna announce it next week on our video. Now, he just yelled at me because I opened the bag without filming the string opening, okay? You've seen it before. You know, you just pull the string and it opens. But in any case, so a special thing for Mother's Day today, we wanna start with a nice clean grill. I got my kick ash basket in here. I've already gone through the process of cleaning everything out, cleaned all the ash out, cleaned everything out, starting with a nice clean grill for mom. And it all goes next with the blaze ball and starters. Now, I put in just enough charcoal so that it's just below the level of the firing. We're gonna be cooking direct with this today, so we don't want it right up underneath it. So we left a little bit of space between the grate and the charcoal. We're just gonna let that heat up to about a medium high heat. And we're gonna throw our pan on there. We're gonna start cooking some scallops. Rolling right along with our special meal here. We're gonna throw our pan here. This is a carbon steel pan, all right? Yes, it looks like crap. This is what they look like when you use them a lot though, and they are great on the grill. Now, let's talk oil. We're gonna sear these scallops, so we wanna have a high heat oil. If you put olive oil in here, it's just gonna start smoking and it's gonna burn real quick. I use avocado oil, grapeseed is also good. So we're just gonna put a light coating in the bottom of the pan just so that it's covered. How that bottle didn't break is beyond me. It sounded like it did, didn't it? One thing I failed to mention, but if you're watching this video, you probably already know what it is. If you don't know what piccata is, it's really simple. It's a lemon and caper sauce. Wine, it's got so much flavor. It's a really simple sauce if you do it right. I like to really stick to the measurements pretty well because I find it just turns out best like that. When I eyeball it, sometimes it's a little off. So I like to stick with the measurements and it is absolutely delicious. The saltiness from those capers just brings out everything in this entire meal brings it all together. It's a beautiful thing and mom is gonna love it. Okay, we've reached a good temperature. So what I like to do is I like to test it, get that oil heated up. As soon as you put a little bit of liquid in there, if it really kind of 
just sizzles right away, you know you're good. So we're gonna go ahead and add our scallops. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in one at a time, not crowd them. You wanna leave space in between each one. They're gonna go for about a minute and a half per side. So let's load this pan up with these scallops and get cooking. Again, leave a little space in between them. All right, you can see them start to bubble as soon as you put them in there. You wanna get them, make sure you're getting the oil underneath them. And be careful, because that oil is hot. Do not burn yourself. Look at that beautiful color on those. That's what we're looking for, that gorgeous golden sear. Not golden steer, that's different. This is a golden sear. Oh, God, they're perfect. Oh, yeah, both sides are done. We're there. I'm going to take them off now and put them on that wire rack, but without the paper towels this time. All right, now, what we're gonna do is just gonna place our paper towel over these, keep them a little bit warm while we assemble our sauce. I've got my lemon juicer. These things are invaluable if you don't have one. By the way, you use it like this, okay? You put the rind side up, believe it or not, and just squeeze right into the pan. So this is going right on top of where we seared the scallops. We didn't change anything, we didn't remove anything. We want all of that brown bits in the bottom of the pan all to stay in there. It's called fond, all right? I'm very fond of it. <laughs> Handy dandy wooden spoon, give her a little stir, spill it all over yourself, it's okay. Cooking is a messy proposition sometimes, folks. There we go. Now, I got a half a cup of dry white wine. I use Chardonnay, I think it works the best. I'm gonna add that right to the lemon juice. Okay. And just give it a little stir. Mix it around, want it to combine real well. It cooled it down so much, it even stopped boiling. So what I wanna do is as I'm using my wooden spoon, I'm rubbing it along the bottom. You want to scrape up all of that, what's it called? That's right, fond. You want to scrape up all of that fond. All of that stuff is flavor, man. That's just going to build the flavor of this sauce. And it's going to take lemon juice, which is somewhat clear yellow, and it's going to take the wine, which is somewhat clear, and it's going to turn it brown because of all that flavor from those beautiful bits in the bottom of this beautiful carbon steel pan. Now we want to bring it back to a boil. Once you can see, once it started boiling again like that, we're going to add our capers. We've got about a tablespoon and a half of capers, drained. I like to get the biggest capers that I can. And when I say caper, I don't mean a heist. <laughs> nope, it's a small berry. And here's the trick. I have three pats of frozen butter, three tablespoons of frozen butter we're gonna add in here. It has to be frozen, it's gonna help it emulsify. That's a pretty big word, right? Emulsify is just simply adding two things together that don't normally go together and making them combine. By emulsifying that butter like that, the frozen butter, it's gonna give this sauce a nice, smooth, silky feel. Okay, now the butter's all melted. What I like to do too, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, I like to add just a little pinch of the kosher salt again, of the, gar of the garlic salt, I mean. Just a little pinch, not a lot, just enough for a little bit of extra flavor, make it really pop. And that's our sauce, folks. Isn't it beautiful? So we're gonna take this and set this on the side. We're gonna put our scallops over our pasta and pour this over the top and have a meal for mom that just can't be beat. Did I mention that we're gonna cook this entire meal right on the grill? That's right, even the pasta, that's right. We have these beautiful ceramic Dutch ovens that we use here. So I'm gonna put this right on the grill, fill it up with water. We're gonna cook our pasta right on the grill. Woo! It's come to a slow boil, so we're gonna go ahead and add our salt, add a bunch of kosher salt. You want your water to taste like the ocean. The saltier, the better. You almost, you almost can't oversalt it. Now we're back to a boil. We're gonna take our pasta, gonna break it in half. Don't you dare break it in half. No, no, leave the pasta whole. We're gonna cook our pasta according to the package directions, but we wanna make sure it's a little bit underdone. So whatever that is, take a little bit off. We want what's known as al dente. It means to the tooth. I don't know what that means exactly, but it's gonna have a little firmer texture and not just be some mushy spaghetti, okay? We don't want mushy spaghetti. Let's take a little look-see. Yeah, it's pretty hot, but I can still touch it. Whoa, yeah. All right, so our pasta is done. Now, next step, draining the pasta. See these heat gloves? Yeah, they're worth their weight in gold. I have spilled more water today than any time in my entire life. We are getting down to the nitty gritty, folks. It's plating time. So we wanna make this look beautiful for mom, right? It's her special day, her special meal. We have to make it look special. Get yourself a big long fork like this. I'll give you a hint. You can get them anywhere, like our website. All right, we're just gonna dig it into the pasta and just twirl, okay? Let it build up on there, just like that. Okay, you can even twirl a little more. Then lay it down in a bed. Voila, look at that. That's gorgeous. Next up, scallops. We're just gonna lay them right on our bed of pasta. Ooh, they're nice and warm. Mm. 
Look how beautiful they are. God, that crust came out just gorgeous. Now, the only thing left to do is to pour our beautiful sauce over these scallops. It's okay if you make a mess too. Mom won't mind. Get those capers on there. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? I overflowed the plate. And the last finishing touch is just gonna be to sprinkle some parsley over the top, just for a little pop of color, make it look a little bit more beautiful, as if it wasn't pretty enough already. We have reached my favorite time. You know what time it is. These look absolutely amazing. I know I've said it like a hundred times already. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of scallop, got some caper, gonna grab a little bit of pasta here, twirl it up, come on, pasta, cooperate. Cheers, folks. Here's to mom. Oh my God. Oh my God, is that good. Mom, this one's for you. My mom's watching down from up there. Just saw this meal. I know she's as happy as can be because she would be just devouring this. It was her favorite meal. Guys, you don't have to make this just for Mother's Day. This is a great meal. You can see this meal came together really easily, really simply. There's not a lot of ingredients, but it is so packed with flavor. Anyway, that's all I've got. This is scallops piccata for you on the big green egg over Fogo briquettes. My might be one of my favorite meals right here. This is so good. I'm going to get to work eating it and devouring it right now. So until I see you next time, remember to get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life. Captain Ron, out.